Hi everyone, it's Adriana. Um, this video has been highly requested from a lot of people and I am finally making it for you guys. It is going to be a tutorial on how to make a Rice Krispie treat, how to design one more specifically. Um, and I'm going to be using Photoshop, but don't let that steer you away from this video. The methods that I use in this video I pretty much can use with any other program that it would include MS Word, Publisher, uh, PicMonkey, BeeFunky. So just because you don't use Photoshop doesn't mean that you can't take something away from this video. So definitely still stick around to watch it and hopefully it helps a lot of you guys. I think it's just been really asked for specifically just for like tiny stuff um, such as the white line that goes across the Rice Krispie Treat label. <laughs> but I'm gonna make it for you guys um, and it's gonna be pretty quick just because again it's very basic. I'm also gonna give you the names of the fonts that I use such as the uh, Rice Krispie Treat actual logo um, and that way you guys can use those okay so keep watching. you guys so if you don't already have my rice krispie tree template be sure to go to my website the direct link for this template is in the description box below so just click on that and then all you're going to do is open it up in whatever program you're using click on the info card above to learn how to use my templates properly if you haven't used my templates yet okay all right so let's just jump right into it i went ahead and opened it in photoshop I always start off by inserting my boxes on top of my template. So this center box here is where I'm going to start. I'm going to go ahead and insert in a rectangle shape. Now with my boxes here, I actually like to extend my design to cover the entire template. So I usually extend my rectangle like this, but you don't have to. I just find that when I keep my design all one pattern, it kind of just meshes well versus using one design on the front and one design on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and insert in a pattern here. I'm not really sticking with any theme, I just want to show you guys how I make it. But I'm going to go ahead and insert in this pattern and like I said, it takes up both the front and back of this wrapper. All right, so the next step is going to be to insert in a white rectangle. Once you insert that in, you need to go ahead and tilt your rectangle or curve it so that it goes kind of sideways like this. From here, you can stretch it to make it bigger or smaller. You can even change the color of it. But this is that rectangle that we see going across the Rice Krispie Treats wrapper. A lot of people send me a lot of questions about this rectangle and this is all it is. It's just inserting a rectangle and then tilting it and then from there you can stretch it to make it wider or you can make it more skinny. There's really no rules to it. You can make it whatever size that you want but uh, what I'm doing here is just trying to center it to make sure that it's right along the center of the front of my wrapper. So that's what that will look like. I just added a border to it so that it can stand out a little bit. But normally I would never add a border to my rectangle. Then I go ahead and normally just put my edges on here. I'm duplicating my pink rectangle here so you can see that this is basically what the wrapper would look like. Again, keeping that rainbow pattern um, it really gives it a cohesive look because it's just one pattern. Next, you're going to go ahead and enter in your text. This text, by the way, the font name is Impact. It is a pretty generic font, so your computer might already have it. But if it doesn't, go ahead and download it. Again, it's called Impact. This is what I use for my custom logo for the Rice Krispie Treats. Now, I don't know if the Impact font is the actual logo font. I honestly don't know if that is what it is, but it is really, really close to it, and I like it, so that's what I always use is Impact font. I also like to either fill my font with a pattern, something with maybe glitter in it so that you can see it really well, 
or a lot of the times what I'll do is make my font white and then I will add a border around the words and then the the border or that stroke around the words will be glitter now once you've got your text all set up all you have to do is go ahead and curve that also so that it fits along that white rectangle that you've got on there and then just edit it to look the way that you want it to. If you want to space your letters out, if you want to space the lines of your text, as long as it just fits the way that you want it to fit. Now, the trick to this part is making that treats, the word treats, you want that to be a lot bigger than the rest of the words in your little logo. So, for example, here I have Jessica's Rice Krispies treats, Jessica's Rice Krispies would be a lot smaller than Treats, just like on the actual Rice Krispies wrapper. So you can either insert in your text all in one box like I am doing here, or you can insert in Jessica's Rice Krispies in one text box, and then the word Treats in a separate text box if that's easier for you, but I just happen to do it all at once. Um, here in Photoshop, if you want to curve your words, which I normally do, there is a way to do it. You'll just curve it like that. You can arc it down. Also, if you were to click that little button up here where it says Warp, there's actually a lot of really cool options that you can click on to warp your text. So if you didn't know that that was there before, now you do. But I'm going to go ahead and arc my words here not too much something that looks a little natural and then if you want later on you can still edit that so it's no big deal but I'm gonna go ahead and curve this and then I'm just gonna fit it into this white rectangle a little better I usually keep it to the left because on the right hand side of the front of my wrapper is where I usually put in some clip art I'm gonna go ahead and resize this text here Again, treats, the word treats should be much bigger than the rest of your text. If you want, you can also put all of your text in different lines like this so that it doesn't look all weird. And then just basically figure out your spacing, figure out the colors that you want to use and all that. and just get it to where it looks something that makes you happy. Next up, you'll be adding in more text. So underneath your logo, there is usually a little bit of text that says something like marshmallow squares or something along those lines. This is your chance to then either put those words in, marshmallow squares, or you could put in something like happy birthday, fifth birthday, you know, anything like that, any custom message that you want. For this, you're going to go ahead and keep it a solid color just because it's going to be a lot smaller. The font for this is Franklin Gothic Heavy. That font should also be pretty generic to your computer. You might already have it, but if you don't, go ahead and download it if you want it to be uh, very specific to the to this wrapper. You're going to go ahead and make it very, very small. And again, that's why you want to keep it a solid color just so that you can very easily see it. I'm also going to curve this upward because keeping it perfectly straight looks really harsh against the curved logo. So I'm going to curve it and then fit it nicely underneath the custom logo that I just created. And that is about all there is to it, you guys. It really is that easy to create your own custom Rice Krispie Treats wrapper. From here, normally, on the right-hand side of the logo, I would just insert in a little bit of clip art. I would type in a little thank you message, and then I would put my marketing information at the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's really all there is to it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys around next time.